Hello everyone! Today we're going to paint this bright red poppy from my leaf Instagram video because I have got a few requests from you to make a lesson on this poppy. So here it is. Let's start. And the art supplies list is as usually uh, in the description or in the end of the page on my website. So first with round brush I'm mixing uh, my olive green with a little bit of yellow to get warm green color and painting the green center a little bit brighter than the center uh, of the canvas and uh, on the top part of the canvas as you may see here and it is not so green on the photograph but I'm making it green to make my painting more interesting because often these kind of these things are kind of green color and now I'm going to paint the general shape of the flower as we usually do and I have taken my filbert brush and started from the top and going all around this uh, tiny green center. And please leave a small tiny narrow stripe between this green and between uh, your petals. Uh, and if in summer is the red will go inside the green, you may just um, uh, edit it with a paper napkin or with your brush just um, take your brush to absorb uh, to lift the paint you don't need there so keep going and you may change the color just a little bit all the time making it um, warmer in some areas by adding some yellow and try to be as uh, close as you can uh, with the outline of this shape like you may see the petals division from both sides um, of the center and you just go all, all around it and if it is too complicated for you to work with the splotch to paint the shape with the splotch you may even just outline it with the edge of your brush and then just paint all inside of it just keep going, painting all these petals, all this shape of the poppy around this green center we have painted. Um, make sure the paint is thick enough, don't take too much water, so uh, the brush should hardly ever move against the canvas. It, it shouldn't move really, really easy, because if it is so, then it means you took too much water. And now I'm mixing in some red violet and some dark violet to get the cool shade of the cool hue of my red. It's like Bordeaux or Burgundy or wine color. And I'm painting the shadows. Look at the reference photograph and see where there are more dark areas where the shadows are and just paint them trying to be as close as you can. And I'm doing it wet on wet, so you may see that the paint spreads around and the edges of the splotches are kind of soft, not really accurate, not really sharp, which is good. And I see some shadow here from the side of these bottom petals. You don't have to be just to follow just exactly this uh, reference photo, but just to be as close as you can. And now what I did, I have dried my brush with my hands, with my fingers, uh, and like this. And I'm just um, drying out uh, those areas where the light is and where those petals are sticking out. Uh, they're kind of toward us. So, and I'm doing their edges this way with the edge of my brush really dry. I rinsed the brush before and I dried it with my fingers. I'm lifting this paint and making these areas more light, like rubbing them a little bit, like you're working with eraser, but don't rub too much for you wouldn't have those not nice texture on your canvas. And I'm doing just the same thing a little bit uh, from the right top part of the bottom petals and just one more stripe on the top. And then we will return to our poppy later and we will do the shadows and you will see how this uh, lifted and these uh, light areas will stand out. 
and if uh, the, the um, area there is dried already where you want to lift those paint where you want to rib it you need to get a little bit water on it by wet brush and then lift it up with your dried brush and now I'm leaving the poppy for a while for it would completely dry and I'm doing the stem I have mixed just two greens and painting the stem as I usually do from the top to the bottom the first line should be really really not um, uh, should be constant and then you do the shadow and then I'm going to do those tiny little needles not all around the stem but just in summaries because if you'll do them all around it will look kind of odd it will look kind of strange because if you look at the poppy uh, you just don't see them all you see them just 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 some of them so like this but And now I'm going to do those poppy seeds boxes, which are left when the poppy is faded. So they have kind of this cup shape and I'm shaping those bottom part, those sepal, I think it's a sepal. Mm, and like that. And I'm doing it with my round brush. And then I do the stem. And I'm going to do the shadows wet on wet. I have mixed two greens for this uh, cup shaped sepal and I'm mixing in a little bit of my red violet into the color to get this kind of warm um, green shadow like this and some uh, some needles same way not everywhere but in just in some areas of the stem like that and again I'm, again, I'm rinsing my brush and drying it the same way and just uh, lifting some paint, uh, ribbing it, the surface a little bit to get this light stripe on the sepal. And now I have mixed uh, some dark violet with some green, dark green and painting this uh, little hat, I would say it's like hat of this poppy seeds box it has some yellow in it. it it's like it is like kind of strapped if you would like you can do yellow and then when it will dry you do the black uh, above it but I don't really think it has to be too detailed here because the main subject of the painting is still the poppy so I'm just doing it with plain black and it looks like this poppy box so it's okay it doesn't have to be exactly the same and now let's uh, let's do some greenery and we don't have any greenery on the photographs here but you can just imagine how greenery of the poppies looks and just do a few green green leaves around it just few few abstract greenery just to show there are some greens all around our poppy and the but not but but the box the seeds box just like that and to make it look more interesting just adding some shadows I have uh, taken my dark green mixed already with a little bit of dark violet and I'm doing the shadow sweat on wet and some areas just uh, mostly on the bottom but some on the top and on the edges too and now the poppy is dried while we were doing the greenery it has dried I think and we need to do the shadows which are go all around the petal petals edges so this is kind of the particularity uh, of the poppy this thing gives us the texture of the poppy but don't do them all all around don't outline it just do in some places like uh, the shadows the shadows are not going all around the um, subject but just in some places and then you may stretch the brush stroke like we did in the other paintings stretch it um, 
a little bit uh, for in summaries it wouldn't be so thin it wouldn't be so sharp and accurate just do summaries and in some places just stretch the brush stroke to the bottom if you if you feel that it should be there and now I'm, applying, I'm outlining kind of outlining those uh, area we have ripped off before because there is another layer of petals and I want to show that it's like shadows maybe it's even like cast shadows from this inside petals to the outside petals and I'm stretching those strokes a little bit and going around them and now I'm mixing really really dark pink by mixing red violet with my carmine I had on my palette and with my dark violet and I'm doing this the shadow which goes here it's like cast shadow from those popping up uh, petals to the bottom petals and I have stretched my brush stroke a little bit if you may see and here I'm increasing the shadow inside uh, those poppy and just some here as you may see there is a really really good bright shadow there and stretching my brush stroke for the border wouldn't be too uh, sharp and I'm doing some shadows there too just to increase the 3D uh, effect, the volume, the depth of this. And now I'm doing wet on wet, I'm increasing uh, these really really dark shadows which go inside the poppy and under those popping petals. And maybe some here. I would say this is a cast shadow from those inside petals. Uh, so, now uh, I'm going to do some texture. And I'm doing the texture on the light parts first. And I have mixed my red violet with a little bit of carmine and doing uh, those stripes with my uh, thinner round brush and the, here for this I'm using the soft brush because it allows to paint those stripes really, really soft and nice and you may do them as thin as you can so mine are kind of rustic and you can do them more delicate and now I'm doing just a little bit more here don't do them all all around the petals just in some areas to show there is a texture there is a texture of poppy petals there here and this color shouldn't be as dark as the most dark shadows you have there but it should be more dark than the color of these petals for we could we could see those texture and now I'm doing the same thing but the, for the shadow parts and I'm mixing more dark color by mixing violet with my uh, red violet and I have added just a little bit of green to make the color not so not so cool and doing same thing in the in the shadowed areas, not all around, not everywhere, but in just some some areas you feel they will look fine there. Maybe some here. Just like that. So now. Uh, now I'm going to do the tiny little shadow on this center and I have mixed just darker green color by mixing two greens and painting over the bottom part of it to show the shadow and now the most fun part I love this part with plain black I'm painting the uh, stamens I like this because it makes the painting look really really like it is a poppy to do this and if the shadowed areas are not completely dry it's okay let the paint spreads a little bit but in the light areas it should be really really uh, accurate it should be really dots they should be really dots not like they shouldn't spread around and they have painted over those white stripe in the bottom part as you just seen I painted over it with my black and I'm going to leave it white on the top just to show uh, the light on the center and to make the, my painting more interesting, more nice, more contrast. And I'm doing this bot and just tiny, tiny little uh, stripes going from the dots 
to the center in some areas. So here it is. Thank you for painting with me today and see you in the next painting.